here near the Yukon in Jade City, we've got the world's richest deposits of Neperite Jade. And the Chinese want it. <laughs> this is going to be the million dollar rock. Now, we just have to find it. I will dig till my hands bleed. Go! Jade makes people do crazy things. <laughs> in the backwoods of northern British Columbia. OK, this is not my comfort zone. On a okay. steep, muddy slope at the jade mining claim Wolverine. No, I'm going to roll it if I go. Claudia Bunce is hunting for the big score. No will. So killing me isn't a good idea. Tell Robin I love him. Oh, my god. OK. <laughs> the crew is bushwhacking, looking for signs of jade amongst all the boulders. Yo! And one giant boulder catches everyone's attention. That's it. <gasps> so Robin just found this rock, and now Guy's coming to grab it. If the excavator can't move this rock, then that's a good thing, because that means it's very heavy. In jade hunting, the bigger the rock, the better the chance of a huge payoff. Oh, that fast? It's already up and out. We have green in this end. It is jade for sure, 100%. Wow. Yeah. I think it's the best piece we've seen. Yeah, it's nice. Underneath always shows, because it's not oxidized or nothing. And within 20 seconds, just new. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a relationship with this. <laughs> Bam. Bam. I think we got the good. Bam. Really? Bam. <laughs> One end of the rock has obvious signs of jade at the surface. I don't know how, how deep that goes. Uh, that's going to be the the end it, it will be. I don't think that'll go all the way through. But the other end is a mystery. We want to get 700000 for this one, too. I this think this would be more. more than the other one. More. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a million dollar boulder here. This has got to be. <laughs> a few weeks ago, Claudia sold a boulder for $700,000 after just cutting off the end. <laughs> OK, he's going to keep it. <laughs> Look, it's everywhere, babe. If this boulder is jade from end to end, it could also be worth 700000 I cut that corner off right there. Oh, my god, really? Yep. The best part of the rock is this end. Yep. Really? From here, that way. Oh, god, please make it look like this inside. We're going to cut it right now. But first, they have to get the rock back to camp. No, I'm not worried about carrying it back. I'm not worried about Shit. scratching it, no. Here. Throw it over top, and we can feed it right through. Robin and Guy hang a cradle for the boulders ride back to camp to make sure they don't damage their precious find. Get the slings out and you treat it like china. The less scratches that are on it, the better. That'll adjust itself. OK, good. I'm thinking maybe we should have grabbed the big straps. A little heavy? Heavy. That's over eight tons. Oh, yeah, he's heavy all right. You got a picture of that? You bet. Okay. Our best rock of the season yet. If this one is a good rock, we beat last year already. If this one turns out to be a grade A jewelry quality, we're talking about, you know, thousand dollar a kilo. This is a game changer for everything that we're doing. Nice. <laughs> nice. It's a good jade. Today was a great day. Big rock, grade A jade. Hopefully. Okay, let's get it on, start cutting. Well, this ain't gonna make it tonight. Robin is in no hurry to cut this rock open. Look at my crew, they're a bunch of lazy bastards. That's why that's not under the saw right now. What time is it? It's bear time, that's what it is. Just one cut can reveal whether a rock is a dud, so the crew wants to savor this potential score a bit longer. You want to cut it, but you don't want to cut it because you don't want it to be not good. Take your time cutting it so that you can enjoy that enthusiasm for a while. What time is it? Seriously. How long will it take to set this up to cut? Oh, we just want to we, we just want to absorb the moment. It's like 4 o'clock, is it? You have to go make supper. It's like it's four. I don't want to aim too high just yet cuz I've been disappointed too many times. But this one looks better than our first good one. So I'm going to say it's going to be the good. And this rock has cast a strange spell on Gee. 
Can I call you Jade? I'm just gonna call you Jade. That's fine. What are you doing later? Like when you're all cut up, polished up, looking good. Maybe parts of you come back visit me while you're spread all over the world. Just send an earring or two. No, I don't. Aren't you glad I picked you up? A little bit of mud on her, make it look bad. Eh? She's gonna make us a whole lot of money. At an abandoned mine near Jade City, Scrappy Larry just scored the salvage rights on a bunch of old fuel tanks. I'm going to load a couple of tanks and show you one I was thinking about making a hot tub out of, too. It's all Claudia's idea for a party or something. Claudia asked Larry if he had any suggestions for the annual Jade City barbecue. That's a pretty big hot tub, huh? But a homemade hot tub wasn't exactly what she had in mind. <sighs> Scrappy wants to build a hot tub out of an old diesel tank. Only Scrappy would think of that. It definitely would be a, a hit, you know. How are you going to turn that into a hot tub? We cut that in half, stand her up, and weld a 45-gallon drum on the inside, take that manhole cover off, and then you could put wood in there to heat the Heat the hot tub, fill her with water, and everybody's happy. <laughs> Pretty high tech. Be interesting to see anyway. Before the hot tub project can start, Larry and his son, Rick, need to get the tank back to the scrapyard. Hey, try it. Be by trial and error. Pull a truck ahead and I'll get it facing that way. Just kind of a uh, crazy thing to do, I guess, you know. Got to do something with all these big tanks for the two days of summer we get up here. <laughs> oh, that's right where it needs to be. Larry's only got three weeks until the annual Jade City barbecue. The tank is this huge rusted oil diesel tank. I don't know if we have enough time to make that into a usable hot tub. I don't know, I think it's crazy. <laughs> the next day, back at Wolverine, the crew is slicing the end off the boulder they just found in the hopes that it's solid jade all the way through. It's green. Definitely green. That's a good color. Like now. The initial signs are good. Because of a lack of iron, jade filings are usually white or colorless. I just have so much hope for it. More hours, at least. As they wait for the boulder, the Bunce's business partner, Alan, arrives with a friend from China. This particular rock, Alan. Uh -huh. We're doing the cut. If it's what we figure it is, it's the best rock we've ever got. Let's go have a look. Yeah. If this boulder is solid jade, it would mean Claudia and Alan's investors could finally see a profit. Just showing on the skin there's some jade. It's good, good potential. I think the number one thing is no fracture. And that's what we hope. Great. Good job. This is a really important rock. This is really meaningful and uh, really fortuitous to have it happen right when Alan flies in and Claudia and Robin are here. Everyone's here to crack it open and share in the, uh, the experience. And we found a big piece of jade on this property, finally. What's up? Out of water. You ran dry? Yeah, guess that's what happens when you cut for six hours straight. So we can't cut it anymore. You ran dry? Out of water. Yeah, guess that's what happens when you cut for six hours straight. So we can't cut it anymore. At Wolverine, there's no water to cool the spinning saw blade. So while R2 primes the pump that supplies the water tank, 
Alan, his friend, and the crew watch as they pry open their prize boulder. OK, who's going to hammer it, Tegui? You, Robin? Who's breaking this baby? Let me do it. Cross your finger. Hit the end right here. Yeah. Come on, boys. It's almost. Keep coming. We got her now. It's in. Pull. Pull. If this is the bad side, make it be good. Yeah. No good? But I mean, it's a little bit fractured. I'm going to push here. This was the part that I was afraid of. What part? The fractures. OK. Oh, Did I go? Large cracks mean this part of the boulder has little value. Because you're seeing all of the flaw lines. Eh? But the rest of the huge rock may be different. Yeah, we need to go further in. So how far do we go in, Robin, and cut again? It's almost the way those fracture lines are. We would cut it this way. We polish this face, and we cut that to where there's no more fractures. Making a second cut is risky. Rather than paring down to solid jade, they could expose even more cracks inside, and the value of the disintegrating boulder can fall dramatically. It's a gamble. You don't want to cut it and expose more fractures. So the least amount of cuts, the better. But if the color is not there, then you have to keep cutting it to prove the rock is good. So let me just follow this line. Yeah, and just go straight across. We take it up to the other saw and just start cubing the bad stuff out. The middle of the boulder is too thick for the circular blade, so Guy hauls it over to the wire saw. Not square with this, right like that. As they ready the rock for its second cut, another visitor lands in camp. My dad's coming to camp for one last time this season. And remember how long it used to take you guys to get out of here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love having my dad with me. We're a daughter and a father team. We have a mutual respect for each other. We love each other. Claudia takes Steve directly to see the boulder that has everyone so excited. So this is the good one they're cutting right now. Yeah, you're here. cutting OK. But it's solid jade. Yeah, yeah this is a beauty. This one's our money. Yeah. Well, green starts about an inch and a half. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Down. Yep. Yeah, start green down there, yeah. yeah. It's totally different than what we've seen before. But see this? That's fracture. Mm -hmm. These are called the floss. It's bad news. Steve thinks that even with a second cut, the boulder is too fractured to sell. To the guy that makes jewelry, it's bad. Forget about it. They won't mm -hmm. buy it. No. Not a money maker. But you see solid jade all the way through. Yeah, it's that green down there, yeah. At the Wolverine mine, Claudia's father, Steve, is worried that the fractures in her latest find mean it might be worthless. I wouldn't make a deal till you see it. Well, I didn't think much about the last one we opened. It's a jade, but there's a lot of cracks. What they need now, it's good stuff. I know what my dad's looking for. Yeah. The impossible. No, no, it's not impossible. No. You'll see. As the wire saw slices through the boulder, we'll see when we cut it. Claudia and her dad, Steve, take some time to visit his old mining camps. Lift your feet, because I'm going to get soaked, but you don't have to. I'm going to get soaked. Back in the 70s, Steve was a pioneer in the industry, which started in these mountains. There, see that green mountain? All in the middle, there's deposits of jade you can see right in the middle there. So here is the heart of the jade. That's what you see, the heart of the world, jade, right here. This was one of my first camps. I'll show you the fancy camp where I lived. Yeah, well, you forgot to clean up when you left. Yeah. Home sweet home? That was only 40 years ago, you know? These are the old mining tags. They used to put these on the stakes. You had to nail this on a little post. 
Now it's all done by computer. Oh, oh checks. Man. North American Jade Corporation. I'm gonna fill out a check, see if it goes through for me. Look at, look at this, Marmite. That's that stuff from Australia that people eat. Good. I think we should put that in our little museum. Here, take this stuff. This is all from 70s, guys. Yeah, yeah, you gotta preserve that. It's still jade, jade that we left, samples everywhere, stuff. This is our mining history. This is our jade history. I love this, because I can see somebody doing this in our camp 40, 50 years from now, and nostalgic. Crazy, eh? History. History, yeah. We'll keep it for the new generation. At the scrapyard, Larry is focused on turning a fuel tank into a big hot tub for the Jade City Barbecue. She's still burning good, so you can see the fuel down in there. Rather than cleaning the tank, he found a shortcut for getting rid of the excess diesel. I'm trying to get some of that stuff out of there. <laughs> it's flaming really good in there right now. Yeah, it can blow up, yeah. It could all of a sudden go whoop right now. You just don't want a big poof, right? <laughs> Flames. It'll probably burn till tomorrow. And then uh, we can cut her. Well, we'll just see what happens. We'll play with it. Might not be ready till Christmas. <laughs> We're going to need the excavator to split this one. But, both but sides, that's OK. Both sides are good. Yeah, both sides good. At the Wolverine Jade Mine, the crew is prying open a deeper section of a promising jade boulder. Let's see what happens. There. Oops. OK, good. We should both be able to fall pretty easy. It's moving. Oh, it's, it's, there you go. Done. There's a nice table. Thank you. It's too much fracture on that side. Claudia's father, Steve, was right. Although the color has improved, the fractures have worsened. This is what we call it a wrong cut. I think you're going to have to cut once more another foot to get into good, really good. Yeah, they cut the here and that side, perfect. If they can cut around the fractures and separate a perfect piece of jade, the value of the boulder could increase. But if you cut this corner, then uh, you only, the only thing you see is uh, nice and green, no fracture stuff, so the price will be up. Dollars on, dollars on. <laughs> you know what? If you grab it, you're gonna, the only way you can tip it is this way, right? Robin repositions the boulder for a third and hopefully final cut on the wire saw. Okay. Pitter patter, get at her. You gotta bring it over. Right there. If they can trim away the fractures, the rest of the rock could bring in a windfall. It's like buying a lottery ticket. Try her now. Your target is the best quality jade out there. And you hope you find it. Now we wait and see. Get going faster. More. But with every cut, their prized boulder gets smaller, with no guarantee of better quality jade inside. At Scrappy Larry's yard near Jade City, the diesel burn-off is complete, but the tank still doesn't look anything like a hot tub. Right along the seam here is where it's going to be cut. Before he can get into his Speedo, Larry needs to saw the rusty tank to size. Billy hot tub will be good. You give everybody a can of beans, and you won't. You'll, everybody will have a bubble bath. And <laughs> Larry doesn't have a lot of time. The Jade City barbecue is only three weeks away. Whether Larry's hot tub idea is going to work or not, I don't know. But if anyone can do it, Larry can. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope. At Wolverine, well, if we all team up on it, 
Grab me that there, Robbie. The third cut of the jade boulder is complete. It's a beautiful collar. But there's still a large fracture, separating two fragments on the top from the prized jade chunk on the bottom. It's going to break right here. Yeah, that one's going to break, too. Hey, just give her a little trim, eh? To get rid of that other part. There's still lots of good jade in this piece. Nice chunk. Yeah. This would be a great piece to sell now, you guys. Be careful in case it slides awful. They separate the jade into pieces along the fault lines. That'll be really nice to polish. Yeah. The chunks alone could bring in $50,000. And in the center of the boulder is one large, solid piece. There's no real fractures. It's all flaw lines there. Transparency of this green is really high. Look at that. Look how far that goes in, Robin. Wow. It's very good. Yeah, it shines a long ways. I love this green. Oh, yeah. This green is really great. The green is well, beautiful. Stuff, Send it to Vancouver and sell her. Half a million dollar, maybe. Mm -hmm. right. If Alan can sell this rock for that much, it will put them in the black. For now, it's an encouraging sign for the investors over in China. Thank you so much. Many birthday. more. It's been a good day. Just finding more jade on the site has boosted everyone's confidence. I want to just keep on going. Everybody's worked really hard to get to where they're at. We have a lot of hard work to do, but we're getting there. We're going to find more jade. We're going to cut more jade. We're going to sell more jade. That's what's next. Next time on Jade Fever. Uh, Justin is a damn jade magnet. Might get noisy. Bye bye. The piece he's added on the back is not a military issue. No, no, I won't do something stupid. Oh boy, right in my face. Oh. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh man, where am I supposed to go here? I don't know about this. Oh.